I want to talk about some of the apps that I like to use to assist in learning more music theory or just getting better at the guitar or any instrument for that matter. Um, there's some apps that I use on a daily basis if like I'm on the train or I have a few minutes uh, I'm laying in bed. Uh, and they, they really help a lot. And then look at here. Let's, uh, let's actually start with this app called Music Tutor. Uh, it's really great. That, that it's really designed for getting better at sight reading, but there's so much more you can do with it. And I see on the screen here that it pulls up the treble clef. You could also do the bass clef. And, uh, and it, it makes you basically guess the notes, and it lets you know when you're right. And, uh, and over time, uh, like if I hit a wrong note, you see it lets me know. But over time, you can, like, you can test your accuracy and your speed. But one of the things that you can do about it is you can think outside the box a little bit here. And if you're learning to harmonize or something, you can use these as random examples to then have to harmonize a, a note on top of it. Think of different intervals. So I see there's a B flat here. And if I was trying to work on major thirds, I would see a B flat note and then make myself guess the major third on top of it. And, and I know that's a D. Um, and yeah, of course, there's no way to check if that's right. So you, you, you kind of have to be able to, to, to judge yourself on that. But, uh, but it's a good way to, to randomly quiz yourself and have notes come up because I think that's one of the problems when you're learning is, um, is the ability to, to get your mind to randomly pick notes and sometimes notes that would be the hardest. Uh, but you can do all kinds of different intervals or even chords with that using that app. Okay, so some of the other apps I also like to use are, um, are this a Rhythm Trainer. Is that what is it called? It is actually called uh, the uh, Read Rhythm. It's what the app is called and this is a really great app for testing your abilities to play and, and think rhythms and uh, it's incredibly important when playing guitar to have a really great grasp on rhythm uh, well a couple of things I like about this app is that you can hit play and it will actually play the examples for you uh, so you can hear what it sounds like so if there's a rhythm that you're not quite familiar with but how it really works is you set the metronome and you tap in the the rhythms and you see if you're wrong with it it gives you like a gray note and uh and your the idea here is to to play the rhythms in time normally you'd be able to hear the click track clicking and you would play along with the rhythm and then when you get done it just will continuously random randomly uh, uh generate new options or, or new exercises to work on it gives you the options to get into the odd time signatures and and pick sort of different syncopations that, that may be a weakness for you. Uh, and I, I would say that sometimes tapping on the pad isn't like a thousand percent accurate. Sometimes you're going to hit it and you know you were right and it's going to tell you were a little off. But um, that's just a, a little bit of a, a, a drawback to that. But otherwise, it's really awesome for helping you develop your, your rhythm skills. Another app I use a real lot is this app called iTabla Pro. And... Um, one of the things I really like about it is you can create drones. I, I can choose what note I want to drone, and this allows me to experiment with playing different scales on top of that note, or training my ear to hear different intervals. Right now, I have it set up to drone D note, so I might try singing a major third on top of that, or finding a major third on guitar, or playing a melody line and, and having to decode what, what were the intervals that I just played. Uh, it's really great, and especially like if you're trying to get into uh, discovering how each mode sounds differently, you can go through like all the D modes, and you can you can hear it anchored against that droning D note, how uh, the interval like makeup like have, what what character it has. There's also a cool option in here to add some uh, some tabla drums and and there's some different rhythms there's a lot of different rhythms in fact if you get into it and it really allows you to to start developing your playing in time and, and maybe with just a little bit more of a world spice which i always find interesting i, I use this app a real lot when i'm uh, working on my slide guitar technique uh, for one having that anchor note really helps me work on my intonation right so if you're just playing on your own without any kind of anchor note then uh then uh, sometimes it's a little hard to tell if you're a little sharp or you're a little flat you're a little flat with your slide so uh i use this a lot and uh, i might move the uh, the anchor note around but i recommend getting into this app a lot if, uh, especially if you're in a slide guitar